Assalamu alaikum dear student today we are going to study the one of the science special topic which is the designing of RCC staircases now in order to start the design portion of the RCC stairs it is important to understand that how many number of RCC stairs can be designed and what are the name that normally called by the designing of RCC stairs so actually there are three type of RCC stair which has various use and various type of RCC structure. So these stairs are known as linear stair, which is the first one, the most common type. And then we have got the intermediate landing stair, and then we have got the spiral stair. Now in order to understand the linear stair, the name defined by itself, the linear stair are those stair without intermediate landing, or you can say are its position. So as you can see from the picture, the linear stair are those stair in which the intermediate landing are not present. Okay. Now in case of the intermediate landing stair, just you can see from the picture, the sun tries or you can say the in between or rest position is provided between the stairs and where we can take a break and then starting going up or down. So this is called the intermediate landing stair. Now in case of the spiral stair, the spiral stair are a special type of stair which is not frequently used in all type of structure because of the two reasons. The first reason is that the spiral stair are basically not comfortable than the other two types like linear stair and intermediate landing stair. And secondly, the execution of the spiral stair is difficult than the linear stair and the intermediate landing stair, okay? And nowadays, the linear stair and intermediate landing stair are frequently used in the residential as well as in the public structures, okay? As per the intermediate landing stair are concerned that the intermediate landing stair are those stair which is mostly provided in a public building which can be a hospital building or these can be a school building or these can be the university building also in case of the shopping malls we can provide the intermediate landing stair okay while in case of the first type the linear stair are normally provided in the residential buildings are the residential units these are provided in the public building as the emergency stair for the emergency purposes for example in case of the fire and in case of some other earthquake or national disaster and the user use the linear stair to going from one floor level to other floor level along the elevation okay now in case of the multi-story structure, we cannot recommend the linear stair because the linear stair is not compatible than the intermediate landing stair. So in case of the multi-story structure, we only provide the intermediate landing stair. Okay? And nowadays, the linear stair are frequently provided by the designer and residential units these stairs is used to connect basement with the ground floor okay now in case of the hospital building we cannot recommend this type of stairs okay now in similarly in case of the multi-story structure we cannot recommend the linear stair so in those cases we only recommend the intermediate landing stair okay so this is our today topic after that, we can start the designing problem of the linear stair and then the intermediate landing stair. And after that, we will start the spiral stair designing. Okay, so this is about today's topic. I hope you will be learned something new from this lecture. If you have any question related to this topic, please comment on my channel. I will try to replay your answer. So see you in next video. Thanks for watching. Allah is.